What is best in life? Uh, today we join Emir Alandin Elg, the ill ruler, uh, in his quest to regain the Sultanate of Moose Jaws, uh, which is this blue area right here behind the uh, windows. I'm trying to regain whatever lands in the Sultanate of Moose Jaws I can. I already hold some lands down here, and I hold these uh, two emirates here and a land here. However, uh, there is a problem that the Caliph himself owns, has taken over these two holdings and is hanging on to them. So obviously I am not in a position to defeat the Caliph. I do uh, control Megara, he's my vassal. And I directly hold uh, Tabaristan, which is a holy site of uh, Zoroastrianism. And I hold all of Tabaristan, either myself or my uh, nephew, as my vassal. And I just hold this one sheikdom of Dehistan, but I cannot get a conquest, Casus Belli, on these other two sheikdoms, on these other two sheikdoms of Dehistan for some reason. And yeah, it says I. I uh, do not have a valid Casus Belli to declare war. I don't know why I can't use the Conquest Casus Belli, as I have enough piety, barely. I have 50, so I should be able to launch another one. But uh, nevertheless, that's just part of the learning process of playing CK3. Uh, these are my mercenaries here. This is a host that I will try to keep my mercenaries away from. And uh, it looks like I have a lot of housekeeping detail to keep up with. So I will start the game slowly and we'll start uh, housekeeping. Well, it looks like I can't even do that. A land in uh, a land in a land Jaws proposes that we send more troops to make him a bigger, better mercenary band. Uh, I accept the proposal to increase the size of the mercenary band and hopefully I'll earn a little bit of income off that as well. And Shadza hesitantly suggests that you follow her instructions to combat the food combat combat the food poisoning that I might be suffering from. Uh, oh my God, she's my court physician. How did she end up our court physician? Oh no, learning of eight. Well, okay, but oh no, I hope I don't die. Uh, my first title, uh, first job, will be to try to. Why isn't Fi She my court physician? With the learning of 27, oh no, it's because I'm Chancellor. I'm Chancellor of the Abbasid realm, so now I'm stuck using the court physician of the Emperor of the uh, Caliph again. So that's maybe something I'll have to change. Uh, child lacks an educational focus. Rowdy, I think he was one of the children that we wanted to have a martial focus in case we had to uh, replace. Um, and let's try to give him the best Zoroastrian fighting skills he has. The fighting skills are terrible, but it's still a Zoroastrian as his guardian. And he's betrothed to, I think, a strong person. That's a good marriage. And to ease your trouble, Shadza consulted the stars before draining a good portion of your blood. That didn't do anything. I may die just again. I could invest in a technologically. I have a decadent relative. I need piety greater than 100 to straighten them up. So I need to uh, hand out another one of my, um, let's see here. Let's go to the duchy screen, Tabaristan. I want to hold on to Gurgan because that's where the trading post is. Tabaristan, my, cousin, my nephew holds. I don't need to hold Alamut. So I can hand out Alamut and Quivir and I thought I actually had handed out those titles. So let's look at people of my dynasty. Uh, my religion group. My culture actually has secret religion, secret Zoroastrians. And unfortunately, I have to hand these out to men, which um, my culture, men, and save filter slot three. Oh, there's only the three of us. So my nephew, who is my rival, but I'm still in the Emir. This is me, Sheikh of Quivir. Oh, he is the Sheikh of Quivir. Why am I holding Quivir then? Uh, so I guess it's Alamut. Well, I'll make my rival Alamut in the hopes. Oh no, I'm suffering from food poisoning. I'll quickly appoint him. Grant landed title, Sheikdom of Alamut. Perhaps we won't have to be rivals forever. 
and I died of food poisoning because once again I joined the call I joined the court of the caliph and I didn't have access to my good Chinese doctor which was just a mistake that I've made before and now I've made it again and I'm paying too high a price for it. I'm no longer going to be accepting any appointments to the court, even if they're prestigious, like Chancellor, and even if they're a spy master where it can prevent someone from assassinating me. So I'm now Emir Landon the Fourth, Elg, having no skills with which to keep the realm together, his rule may be doomed to fail. Long live live Emir Alandon Elg. Well, that's a cheerful uh, way to begin things. So, uh, the court physician has come to see and offers treatment for my illness. Well, it's too late. These treatments sound scary. Uh, all right, now I have a lot of housekeeping to keep up with. A message about arranged marriage. Uh, yes. Now, I'm going to... How old is he? He's one. Oh, no. So, even if I married those excellent genius wives that I had, they would be too old. Oh, no. So... And there's no one for him to select a spouse. And my lord, he's a Sunni. Oh no, can he convert to... Can he con... And I can't convert to um, Zoroastrianism. This is not... This is going to be a problem. So Feishe, thankfully, is still my court physician. My court tutor is still my mother, the genius. Um, um, how is the rest of my council uh, I lost my grand vizier uh, yes I will dare risk uh, she the court physician is my vizier and I will have him fabricate claims on Karakur and my steward I need a good one I am not going to get a good one but I will why does he hate me so much uh, infidel and this guy Sheik of Megara I'll appoint the Sheik my prisoner, Mayor Nezem of Devar, is complaining about his uh, dark cell. Uh, I will... Very well, I should... Uh, yes, I'll put him under house arrest. I've recently read on the uh, forums that uh, people are rarely released from house arrest, so that's a suitable uh, way of dealing with your problems. So now I have... Five, I'm still too high in my holdings and my decadence is high because of that. Um, so my decadence has gone down a bit because of that title grant of Alamut. I don't think I can grant these other titles uh, because I'm not sure if I, let's see, I hold Kurdistan and I hold Sharazur, but if I hand out those titles, I'm not a sultan, so I think I'll lose control of them. They won't be vassals. I need to regain, I need my chancellor to develop a claim on Dihistan. Can I now declare war? Needs to be approved by my council and I need a, va a valid casus belli. And this is held by the Caliph. This, oh, here we go. Steel, Emir of Mercia. Emir is independent. Oh, right, he's a liege of Hispania. That's right, of course. As is this title, this guy is still, his liege is the Emir of Basra and the Caliph of Arabia, which is not my Caliph. My Caliph is the Caliph of the Arabian Empire. Hmm, I guess there's two Caliphs of the Arabian Empire. And my steward, uh, and so then these two titles wow it looks like we're having a long minority um my cousin he has a negative opinion of me as well i thought why does he hate me my demesne is too big and he wants a seat on the council and he's a pretender to the throne and he's ambitious so that's unfortunate he's probably never going to like me that much um and then my kinsman even he has a negative opinion of me Demesne too big. And then this is me, Emir of Tabaristan. I could give out the Emirate of Tabaristan. Are there any other... My dynasty has secret religion. Uh, let's try any religion. 
there we go. So here's a Mazdan court musician of Usert. He looks like he's done well for himself. A Landon courtier in Tabaristan. Here's me. I'm strong. I'm the only one with a positive genetic trait so far, even though I married so many geniuses in this family. Uh, here's a 39-year-old with half-decent learning, a Zoroastrian. And uh, who is Elg? Is he? He's my uncle, but he's a Muslim. So Quivir, I could still give out Quivir. Someone with a good opinion of me. None of them have a positive opinion of me. Uh, this guy is content, though, So, although he's craven. He's brawny, yet craven. Uh, I will give him the landed title of Sheikdom of Quivir and the lower titles. And that just gets me down to one over title. And I have my spy master. I need a spy master to try to keep me alive through all this. And a land in cheek of Kazwin. He doesn't like me much. I'll give him a gift now. When oh, he wants a bribe of 162 gold. I just don't know. Um, my half sister. Uh, we'll get her conscientious. And um, guardian. Hopefully she'll, oh, I'll try to turn her. Focus her on faith. So hopefully she will get the guardian's faith of Zoroastrianism. And now is there a husband? These are just Wallies and, but these are going to be uh, matrilineal. These uh, Prince of Hispania, I'll marry her to him. These aren't matrilineal marriages, so these women just leave my household and don't become part of my um, family, so I don't build them up. Sheikh Landon claims that Wali Ismail of Komesh Depa is attempting to provoke vile heresies. How should I use this uh, information? Who is he? He almost has a good opinion of me. He's not that great. He has a sympathy for Zoroastrianism. Uh, I'll expose him publicly, and then I'll try to arrest him. It needs approval by the council, and the council won't approve. That's something. Now let's get back to the spy master appointment. Uh, a land in Sheik of Kazwin. I'll get him scheming. He has a half decent scheming, and he has a somewhat positive. And I will give him an honorary title. Ooh, not a landed title, an honorary title. There we go. Uh, court musician. There we go. Uh, so I'm now married into, at least in distantly, into the whole royal family of Hispania. Now, is, I can't really give out any other holdings. Um, there's the mosque I could give out. Um, and the mosque is in Dihistan, Mosque of Gazin Kuli. All right, I'll try to give it to someone in my uh, family. Uh, let's see how their learning does. Sheikh of Quivir, Alandan, 42. Um, Uh, the effect is relative. Decadence lost from granted dynasty member. Going against the will of the council will be viewed as a tyranny. So let's look at the council. Oh no, I have a council to my mother and my tutor are loyalists. Glory Hound, he's returning a favor to Wali Ismail of Komish Dapra. Can I request?
no, I won't go independence now because if I go independent now, I won't be able to take on individual vassals of the M of the Caliph. I will have to attack the Caliph himself, and I want to pick off these vassals one at a time. So although sooner or later I will declare independence for now, I will stay loyal. And Sheikdom of Tabriz. I mean, I don't. Oh, yes. The Caliph is in Sheikdom of Tabriz. Now I can. Okay. Uh, open council position, Marshal. Jeepers. So I will appoint the Marshal. Uh, he will train troops in Gurgan. I think I missed. Uh, train troops in Gurgan. Now I have an army of 2,100. What kind of army can the Emir now raise? Oh, he can still raise 12,000. So I could try to press my claim, but he still has Prince Misra, the witch hunter, Prince of the Arabian Empire, Emir of Tabriz, Emir of Damashak, but he's in jail and houses heir. Heir to the Abbasid Empire. Sheikdom of Urbid, Sheikdom of Shirvan, Sheikdom of Trebiz, Damashak. Is that accurate? Can he really raise that many? Prince Misra, the witch hunter. Oh yeah, he's still got uh, news from China, intending to enforce their subjugation of a tributary state of the Tang Empire. The Protector General of the Western Protectorate has declared war upon Lu Rong. Han armies are already marching towards the realm of the Duke. It seems possible this spells the end of his independence. So this guy still has Wally of Ismail Wally. This guy is Mayor of Tabriz, Mayor of Urbid. I don't think he's really got 12,000. He doesn't, oh, 5,300. He doesn't have that many vassals anymore. This is a glitch. Total levy, 7,000. This, this is from when he was Caliph, but he's not Caliph anymore. So he's got 500. So that's 1,000. Uh, 1,500 say 2,000 to be generous, still say 2,000, 2,500, 2,600, so he's got 2,600 from his vassals. Oh, there, his troops are already raised. See, he really only has 2,300, but his army is still raised. So the vassals still say 4,000. He has 4,600 raised of a new total of really uh, 361. So I just have to wait. And he has a hired 2,100 and raised vassals. So I just have to wait for him to go bankrupt. Oh, he's only losing two gold pieces a month, but that must be out of date information too. Because once his, um, all right, so that's the Sheikdom of Tabriz. So that's something I can try to do. I would nice to be get just a simple claim on Dihistan and, and get this really weak guy with 600 troops instead of going after the former Caliph because the former Caliph might get his mojo back at some point as well. So I guess I'll speed things up. I don't have a lot to do. I can't join a secret society. I'm too young. I'm also the wrong religion to lead the Magi. Magi. Uh, do I have any interesting intrigue things I could do? I do have 700 gold. I haven't gotten the Hajj for this character. There's not much going on in my intrigue focus. Uh, I guess I could spend some money on Gurgan. 
As I lie in my crib, staring up at the ceiling and contemplating my future exploits, an adult enters the room. I recognize her as one of the maids, but this time there's something very cold and distant in her eyes. She approaches you with the pillow in her hands. Emit ear-shattering wail. Am I going to die already? As a maid draws near, you take a deep breath and produce a piercing wail that echoes through the nearby hallways. The startled maid drops the pillow and runs away before someone comes to investigate. Sheik Alandon Alandon, my spy master, put her up to this. So my spy master is trying to kill me. Is he my heir? Sheik, yes, I made my spy ma I made my heir my spy master. That was perhaps a mistake. Oh. Well, I'll beef up Gurgan and see about the uh, trading post. Does it have any rudimentary trade offices? Uh, technology spread rate, monthly prestige. That doesn't really do me anything. Uh, Quivir, the trade post. It's all up to date. So are there some Gurgan? Oh, gee, that's too bad. I can't even uh, beef up my holdings in the castle what about uh where is uh news from china the tang empire sent their armies to occupy territory in kashgar uh few expected that the war would end in stalemate chinese troops are unexpectedly returning home while the administration of duke lu rong of kashgar are working tirelessly to calm the people of kashgar well they uh survived so where is my second Trade post of Gurgan, don't tell me I accidentally gave away. I gave away Kazwin. Oh, I didn't mean to give away Kazman. I meant to give away Quivir. Sheik of Quivir. There we go. Kazwin. No, this is my cousin. Darn it, my cousin has my holdings. What holdings do I have? I have the Emirate, Emirate, and Gurgan, and Kurdistan and Shahar Razur, and Delam, which is a useless one, and De Dehistan, and the mosque. None of which I really want to hang on to. I want to get Kazwin back. How did that happen? How did I accidentally give it away? Oh, no. And I'm only two years old. This is going to take a while. It's well, I should get this moss given away to uh, a character. Um, he's content. Give landed title. And I need one more uh, pragmatist. My cousin. Can I request council support? Yes. So I'll wait for him to grant me council support, then I'll appoint. There we go. Uh, my liege, I write me with write you with bad news from Gurgan. Uh, the peasants are upset at their taxes. Well, that's just tough. Noah Landon should be now a mosque holder. Um, Urbad Landon. And let's look at the, yeah, and I'm not part of the MAGA Society anymore, so I can't use that feature to uh, secretly uh, form Zoroastrian populations in my provinces until I manage somehow to convert to Zoroastrianism, which I don't know how I'm going to do. If I look at the religion panel, Gurgan is Zoroastrian Mazden, so I don't know why I thought there was a way to uh, join the religion of your, uh, somebody stealing from me, my regent. So, Gurgan, this is an indirect uh, militia training ground. Stables, castle town, tax income. This is a very indirect uh, way to invest your money when you're actually doing it for a... Um, how much is build a new holding? 
750. Will the hospital take any upgrades? A soup kitchen, piety de liege, and temple vassal opinion. All right, I could use both of those. So it's expensive, but I'll spend some money that way instead of letting my courtier steal it. And now, how is the our old caliph, the new emir of Tabriz, now he's down to 2,000 troops. He's hired, he's hired them all off. Okay, so declare war. Um, conquest of Tabriz, conquest of Shirvan. Uh, I will go for the claiming Tabriz for my uncle. Forget that. I will just conquest of Shirvan. I will go for the conquest of Tabriz. And I need piety greater than 50. I'm gaining 1.2 piety a month. I can claim it for my uncle. And there we go. My uncle has embraced. Now, let's hope that these armies, the Jabal and this other army, have nothing to do with the uh, former Caliph's army, or I'm sunk. Actually, um, this is getting making me nervous, so I am going to uh, raise my Demesne levies and have them form up. I actually, being a Muslim, have some half-decent generals. There's not much to warfare in CK2. It's basically move everything into a doom stack while you're until you exceed the supply limits and then uh, march on your enemy. So it's pretty straightforward. It's more. It's supposedly more about the intrigue and the um, uh, fighting that way. But it's not. That is not something I excel at. Figuring out how to get someone to inherit something from a distance is uh, not my great strength. It's something I'm trying to learn though. But the game is so hectic with so many different um, uh, events coming up in such rapid fashion that it's hard to uh, actually learn the more subtle parts of the game as you are in the midst of frantically flicking through these different event chains that are going on. So let me unify this army. Now, I don't know who this army of Galib, the Jalal guy is. This is the Caliph, and he can only raise two and a half thousand men. And this is the Idrizid Emirate. I don't know. Oh, no, he's coming to Megara. Let me defeat that other army first, please, please, please. Please get defeated. All right, I killed there, and now he's now I'm into it, but I'm the defender this time. So I've got the defensive bonuses in the mountains, thankfully. It's a good thing I raised those extra extra liege troops, liege troops, even though I didn't uh, understand what they are. And learn the ways of the Gothas, my kinsmen to the strong Emir. That seems appropriate. He can grow up as Zoroastrian if he wishes. And my steward, I, I had a good, oh, darn it. So I won a victory, but it wasn't such a blowout as the other one. And now to get sieging down these properties. Oh, 
All right, and that's it for this episode. We'll end it there. I am sieging down to Breeze, my former holding. Uh, from the once caliph, the now jailed uh, emir of Tabriz, uh, the caliph has fallen. Hopefully he'll stay fallen and won't rise up and defeat me. But uh, the fortunes have been reversed. I'm going to get back my last two holdings and with it my sultanate. I believe, actually I believe after I get just one holding to Tabriz, I'll be able to reform my sultanate, hopefully next episode, and be on my way to reclaiming my uh, reclaiming Zoroastrianism for the Empire of Persia or the Empire of Persia for Zoroastrianism. If you've enjoyed the video and it's your first time here, please consider hitting the subscribe button and the little bell so you get notifications of my other videos and uh, have a good day.